Hello. Hi, Matthias. How are you? Great. I'm doing great. Okay. Well, we're taping today the <laughs> interview. <laughs> So, um, so can, I te can you tell me um, why you came to visit me? From the start? Yeah. Well, yeah, so initially I had some uh, health issues and I also knew, knew that in my family there were some health issues and I knew that doctors would not necessarily help us in uh, solving all those issues. Uh, I always knew that there is something way beyond just uh, medications. And when I came to you, and actually that was the reason why I came to you, and that's how we started the journey, right? Yeah. So you were on medications then? Yes. So which which ones? Uh, so I have type one diabetes, and I had that for the last twenty nine years now, mm -hmm. and I've been improving it ever since. Well, especially in the la recent years, I've been working on it very much, but I've noticed that it's not only about medications. Okay. So it's also about body and spirit, and since I started doing that, uh, my health improved, and also the diet is part of it. So all these things help you build your health, and that's what I see is happening now. Wow, yeah, great. Yeah. So that's what we've been working on, right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And um, so what was your diet like before? And so before I just eat, yeah, ate normally, uh, so nothing special, oh. so eating meat, uh, eating uh, a lot of fatty things, eating a lot of processed food, a lot of sugar. So I was not really concerned too much about what I was eating. So when uh, was that? That was almost three, three years ago, I think. And suddenly there was a switch in my family because my son also got type 1 diabetes. And at that moment everything has changed. And then I realized that it's not only about, you know, living day to day, and just not looking after your own body, but it, it, it something has to change. And that was the, the moment where we really cha started changing a lot of things. We changed the vegan diet, and I also knew that the spiritual part, like I mentioned in the beginning, I started taking interest in uh, energy, bioenergy, biomedicine, and that's how the journey started for us. Yeah. So you were already working, I know you were already working with um energetic healing you yeah. were also doing uh, theta healing yes right but this yes. is yeah this is a place where you're not really involved yourself as a client right yeah, yeah. so and with me i i try to focus on that you can you, you can do it yourself at home and yeah. so how how is that been for you so you, you gave me quite a lot of challenging exercises which initially were <laughs> very abstract like uh, in, the, in the beginning you asked me to feel certain parts of the body. That was not so easy, but the, the funny thing is, once you start doing it and you're patient and persistent in what you do, you, you notice the progress and, uh, and the, the actual growth is, it really kicks in. So it was really fun to experience all those small exercises, giving you a better picture of yourself, how your body behaves with, with certain food, how you behave after certain food, how you feel after certain food. And also all the things we, we did um, gave me a lot of spiritual growth, which also gives me some, a, a lot of fulfillment and joy in life. Wow, that's what yeah. we all want, huh? Yeah, fulfillment absolutely. and joy. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So uh, you, so, you said something about, um, yeah, that in the beginning, the exercises were really abstract, as in trying to feel something. Yes. Yeah, so I remember the first time and I said, well, go and lay down and then you're going to improve your energy okay well feel your feet you're like okay <laughs> feel my feet <laughs> right <laughs> yes so, uh, so like i said we did a lot of uh, <laughs> but that's how it is in life right you yeah. step out of your comfort zone and definitely this was something about uh, outside my comfort zone but once you step out and do a few small small things it just starts building up yeah and you start growing and learning more and more faster and faster and that's the fun part Wow, oh, that's cool, huh? Yeah. So what have you learned when you were growing and faster? What have you learned to like feel the energy in your body? Is this something that you know now when I talk to you about it that you know what I'm talking about? That you feel it or? Yeah, so there's it? there's definitely a lot of growth uh, to do, uh, but definitely, I can I can feel my energy centers, which is chakras. I can activate them when when whenever I I want. 
I can enjoy the energy flow. I all immediately feel more positive, more energized. I can put an intention uh, which clearly um, appears in my life around me at a certain point. Uh, a lot of exercises go to towards feeling the energy and uh, aura and energ energetic field around my body. And this is also very fun because you, you notice that people around you change because you change your own state. And that's, that's very nice. Mm -hmm. And I also see that I start helping others uh, because I notice certain things which I went through. <laughs> that's also fun. It's also wow, fun. that's yeah. very good to hear. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad to hear that you'll be able to help others with the same. Yeah, that, that, um, to, to some extent that everything started because of my son, but uh, actually you start from yourself and then you start helping others. Yeah. And that's how it works. Yeah. 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 So how is your um, environment? How, how do people react? Do they react differently or are you still the same person? Uh, what, what, what happens is uh, people around in the environment change because of how you you change and that's uh, you start attracting more people who are more enthusiastic more open um, more uh, cooperative uh, and more fun to spend time with and inspiring as well so this is all things which I'm working on in, in my own life and I you see that when you change uh, people around you and environment changes the environment changes yeah. yes because you cannot change somebody else you can only work exactly. on yourself yeah and that's how you magnetize others yeah. the same way so if, if uh, somebody really would watch the video who is watching and they, you know, they, they have doubts or they, they want to change something, they don't feel well, they also have type 1 diabetes and think, well, this is a, my life sucks, I yeah. can never have sugar again. Um, <laughs> what would you recommend them to do? Um, what I would say is um, try it. That would be number one. Because if you are on medications for a long time, or even for a short period of time, uh, the thing is, it will not help you. It will sustain you in your current condition. Maybe the condition can get even worse from time to time. But when you start working on yourself, uh, you see the improvements. And the thing is, to heal yourself, you really need to work on it. It's like with ex exercise, with muscles, right? You have to yeah. exercise your muscles to become stronger. And the same is with your health your immune system and all the systems inside your body and that's how you learn and when you and part of it is obviously also the energy around the body which is meditations and really looking into yourself being more peaceful uh, and enjoying more li your life more well i think this is the best advice i have nothing to add okay i think you. this that's is good. yeah well I enjoyed working with you and you. going through the journey with you. It was great, yes. I'm very glad that that, uh, that you took on all the challenges that I gave you. And, uh, well, they are challenging, the yeah, goal, so the, not they, for nothing, but it pays off. So uh, Absolutely. It's okay. a part, uh, part to growth, and I, I'm confident that I will heal my diabetes at some point. And I, th I also feel that it's very soon. And uh, looking at the amount of years I've been living on medications and comparing this time to what I'm doing now in the recent years, there's a massive shift and, uh, and a lot of things sit, uh, sit in your head. So Yeah, a lot of things sit in, sit in the head and yeah. in the body. Yes. And in the aura? In the aura as well, right? Yeah, okay. So let's get some work done <laughs> yes. because we're not done for today. We yes. still have to we're do... just about to start. Yeah, yeah we're just going to start. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for letting me take all this. Oh, and, you're uh, welcome. I hope it can help uh, others as well to motivate them to take a step. Because I always say, try it before you actually judge it. Yeah. Great. Yeah.